Hi, this is Ray Leftridge, computer technology teacher for Oakwood Adventist Academy. Today I want to talk to you about a program we're using for our class. It's called typingweb.com and all of our students grades 5th through 8th will be using this program to enhance their keyboarding skills. And I've looked at different programs and this one seems to be the best fit for us. One of the reasons is because it is free and it's been helping um, not only is it free but it is a great program and I'm going to show you that in a few moments. Uh, so I just want to uh, again introduce uh, the website itself. It's uh, www.typingweb.com. This will land you here. Uh, the students when they come to this particular page uh, will just click on start typing and then uh, move in to the lesson. I uh, just want to highlight some of the features here. As I mentioned, it's free, perfect for all ages, lessons for all skill levels, uh, and they have tools for teachers and other typing information. Uh, no downloads. This is a web-based program, um, and there's you know a curriculum that's involved with this particular program, and. Uh, like I said, it's just great for schools. Here you can kind of see some of the things that are going on and we're going to get right into um, the program and what it looks like. Uh, the students received a username and password and we had some challenges with one class today, but hopefully uh, each student's username and password is working correctly. I did set up a, um, a student um, account here so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And so once the students log in, this is basically what uh, they will come to immediately. I'm going to explain the upper portions here uh, first and then we'll move through the program. First I'm going to have you look at preferences. This is where students can uh, change some information. I, I do want them to keep their first name first and last name there. Their email, if they have one, can be put here. There is no requirement for email. They can change their passwords here. Uh, I am encouraging them not to change their passwords uh, due to the fact that it could delay them logging in. Uh, but if they do need to change it, of course they can. There's some options here that they can uh, change as well. Uh, but basically the preferences are set and they will not need to uh, to change them. As you can see here, uh, the language can be changed. This will not need to be changed, but there, the, the uh, typing web has set it up where you, know, you can change it to different uh, languages, which I think is very nice uh, for an international approach. There's a blog which gives some highlights on what's happening with Typing Web, some of the updates, things like that. Students as well as parents can, can look through that as well. And just gives um, some great information on what's going on. This is new for Typing Web uh, class school board, scoreboard rather. Uh, each week the scoreboard will reset uh, every Sunday. And uh, basically, it kind of outlines who the top students are in the class. So that's like an incentive on uh, for our students to try to be uh, one of the top students as far as speed and accuracy is concerned. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge with my students with that. These are the courses for the students, beginning with the beginning course, intermediate, advanced, Specialty lessons, premium lessons, certificates, certifications rather, uh, news headline exercise, and then the problem key. So this whole program is robust and will, uh, you know, take throughout the year for the students to work through. Uh, each course has several um, lessons within each one, so it, it's very detailed. Uh, it has some advanced skills here for some of our students who are doing really well some specialty lessons and as I go through you can just kind of see there's multiple types of things that students can be working on uh, throughout the year and that's one of the 
you know, main reasons why I like Typing Web. We can go through this whole program and then even start again if necessary for the students to get great practice. My goal this year is to have the students work through these programs in class. Of course, they can practice at home. Uh, however, I am going to grade them using these lessons. So when they complete these, each lesson, I will give them a grade and then that will show up on uh, RimWeb. Uh, the score will be based on speed and accuracy and I will send you an email regarding how that breakdown will occur. One thing I like about Typing Web is it has some simple but fun games the students love which uh, get them involved. They love games and but at the same time they are typing and they're using the keyboard to practice their typing. Um, and then they can continue here with uh, nitrotype.com which will give some, some additional typing games here. But these are really good and the students love them and it's a great practice uh, for them. Certifications, we really don't really do a lot with certifications. It's really uh, something that um, you know, if the students complete a certain type of test, they can get a certification for. I'm not really highlighting that as much as the test itself. Periodically, the students will have tests uh, on the speed and accuracy, and that's what I really base their uh, grade on. And so that will occur here, and the, the test loads up, and then they just begin the typing. And it'll tell you how many times uh, they've taken this particular test throughout the year. Statistics is a great way to see exactly how the students are doing. Is a progress summary. Uh, time spent typing is uh, here. Problem keys that students need to work on. Also, uh, the typing test results are all listed here. And they just click on those and get the results. I'm just going to show you quickly how it looks. With the test results, it gets a nice little graph. Uh, the students can actually see uh, the progress from from this date to this date, uh, the speed, net speed, and the growth speed. Uh, you know, you can see the improvement there along with the accuracy is listed here. So as the students take their test throughout the year, more and more will you know they'll be able to see a progression. Uh, sometimes they go down, they might dip, and that shows that we need more practice and then uh, it goes up. But generally I see a increase from the very beginning of school to the end of the year. By the time they finish by the end, they've always improved in their speed and accuracy. And that's one thing I like about this particular program. This year they have trophies uh, added to give incentives for the students. Once they finish a course, they will be given a trophy on their shelf. And so once they finish the beginning course, they'll get all of the trophies lined up there. And it just continues all the way down um, to the specialty course area. So that's a nice little visual incentive I like for the, for the students. Skins are for the, the feel and touch, I guess, of their particular website. Uh, students can simply just click on the skin and it just changes in a matter of seconds. Um, just to give a little a different look, a different feel, a different color as they go through. Now obviously you do see that uh, there are some ads here um, associated with this account since it is free. Um, if we do want to upgrade as a school there will be a cost uh, to do that in order to get rid of the ads. But normally uh, these are not an issue but um, I would like to, to upgrade if possible uh, just so that we'll be there. And so basically, this is typingweb.com. It's a simple program, yet effective. Um, and with the statistics, it not only gives a quick view of what the students are doing, but also a, uh, a detailed report that I can print out as a teacher is available when we do our parent conferences, or if you ever do desire a, a full report, I can um, print that out, have it sent home, or even email as well. If you have any questions regarding typingweb.com, please contact me uh, by email or phone. 
Uh, the students will be working with this program in class mostly and they can practice at home. I'm not requiring it this year. However, uh, they should be, you know, if they have time and they're finished with all their homework, this is a great activity for them to, to go online with. And we will be using Typing Web each time they come into my class for at least 10 to 15 minutes uh, working through the lessons and through uh, some of the practice skills. Thank you for viewing uh, this um, screencast and hopefully this gives you a better insight on what the students are doing in class uh, with typingweb.com.